Daycare is under investigation tonight by the Department of Social Services. Well, someone complained to DSS that employees at Little Hearts Big Mines in Franklin were putting children in a dark closet called the Monster Room when they were bad. And your size, Melanie Woodrow, went to go check this out. What'd you find, Melanie? Tom, several parents picking up their children for good. Parents telling me the daycare director called them today to let them know about this story. Some of them knew nothing of the allegations, while others had pulled up this Department of Social Services report. In it, DSS says the information gathered during the investigation supports the allegations, so the complaint is determined to be valid. Also, that due to the serious nature of these violations, further action by the department will be considered. This afternoon, parents like Linnea Futrell picked up their children earlier than usual. Are you coming because of the investigation? Yes, I am. Futrell says Little Heart's Big Minds daycare director called her to say Wavy News 10 was here and to explain why. I'm furious to know that anybody's child has been placed into a monster's closet as a time out. According to the Department of Social Services website, inspectors visited the daycare center May 2nd, unannounced following complaints. A DSS report says the monster room was a supply closet containing cleaning supplies. Staff told two and three year olds a monster lived in the broken tile in the ceiling. One child told inspectors she brings a glow stick with her so it won't be dark. Staff reported they heard children crying and screaming from the room. Futrell said until today she could not figure out why her four-year-old Nyla was suddenly wetting herself and showing other unusual signs. Being afraid of the dark, being afraid to go use the bathroom, um, not sleeping well at night, needing the, you know, some form of light. Lindsay Holloman said her three-year-old son tried to tell her. Well, he's told me and I just thought it was a joke. I just want to ask you about the allegations. The daycare director ran away from us today and called a police officer who told us we were within our rights 30 feet from the property. Earlier on the phone, the director said the supply closet was now locked and that the... Oh, so, I mean, I, my three-year-old has no reason to lie. I mean, I've asked him what the monster room was and he said it was a dark room and you go there when you're in trouble. So... Did they show you the closet today? No. Did you ask to see it? No. Do you want to talk to us anymore now that we've talked to two parents? Do you want to tell us about the monster closet where the kids put in a closet? Again, the daycare director ran away. Moments later, an employee came out crying and said she'd resigned. Someone who was with her said it's a good establishment. And I think they'll continue to have a good establishment if, if, if people would just let things lie. So again, the director denying these allegations. I spoke with the Department of Social Services inspector on this case, and she told me that a public affairs officer would have to answer all of my questions, including why this daycare is still open. That person has not returned my call. By the way, one parent says that DSS called her and mailed her a letter about the inspection. The other parent we interviewed today said until today, nobody had notified her. Melanie Woodrow, 10 on your side.